Today's video will be going through some U perms. So what is a U perm? Well, a U perm is one of the easier PLLs actually, and it can be recognized by having a solved bar here. Normally that's placed at the back and it has these headlights on all three of the other sides. Whenever you see that, that means you have a U perm. There are two different types of U perms and they can be recognized by their edge cycles. In this case, this is an anti-clockwise cycle going this way, so it is the UA perm. Um, it is also recognized by there being opposite colors on the right hand side. So the other U perm is this one here. Uh, this one has a clockwise cycle of edges going this way. This is the UB perm and an easier way to recognize is that opposite colors here on the left hand side. So the most common way to do U perms is the RU algorithms. These are two gen algorithms and so they are pretty fast and very commonly used as well. So this is the UA perm um, and the algorithm goes like this. So the algorithm for the UB perm is actually quite similar to the one for UA as well. Um, and it's also pretty fast. It goes like this. So the good thing about our UU perms is they can be done from the back as well. So when you do get a case like this, you don't have to AUF, do the algorithm and then AUF back. So it's more flexible with these algorithms. And plus, because it's RU, you could cancel out uh, moves with some OLLs. Um, I'll put the algorithms that are done from the back in the description below. I won't show them on camera though. So the problem with the RUU perms, as you could probably tell, is the weird finger tricks that it involves. And if you want to avoid those finger tricks, you'll have to sort of regrip a lot as well. So that's why I don't use those. I use the MUU perms because they don't involve any regrips and they don't really have weird finger tricks, it's just MU moves. So this is the UA perm, um, and these algorithms are actually quite easy to memorize as well. So how I recognize it is basically just looking at opposite colors. So we have opposite colors here, so the algorithm starts off with an M2, and we bring the one with the opposite colors into the middle, do an M, U2, M prime, and then match the colors up, M2. So it's a fairly simple algorithm, and pretty fast as well. So for the UB perm, the algorithm is once again very similar and very easy to remember as well. So once again, we only look at opposite colors. So opposite colors here on the left side. So once again, we start with an M2, move the opposite colors into the middle, do an M U2 M prime, match the colors up and finish with an M2. So very easy to remember and really fast as well. So finally, I wanna talk about the F2 algorithm. So if you don't know what the F2 algorithms are, it's the ones that start with an M2, F2, sorry and then it goes into something like this and ends with an F2. So these algorithms, they are what a lot of beginners learn, but they are ultimately not as fast because they involve a lot of regrip. So I actually don't recommend you learning these algorithms. Um, I put it in the video just to show that you shouldn't learn these algorithms. And now finally about AUF. So no matter what algorithms you use, this, this AUF technique uh, applies to all of them, so it's fine. Uh, with AUF, you could look at the bar at the back, but normally because it's at the back, you'll have to deduce which color it is. So looking at three sides, you could easily deduce that it's blue. Looking at two sides, that might take a, quite a bit longer. So what I do, I normally don't worry about what's at the back, I look at the front headlights. Because they're at the front, it's hard to miss it. So because the front headlights here are green, I know that if I do the algorithm, green is going to end up at the front. So I know exactly where to AUF if I need to. So that's it for the U perms Made Easy video. I uh, hope you learned something and thanks for watching.